Wait, this this might be the screen. <laughs> so, with a good box cutter and a little bit of time, you get all your components ready to go. Let's build. First part we have is the screen. So check out the pieces that say screen. Easy enough, right? All right, everything will fit right into place. Look at that. So it just snaps on. You know, it's like it's just it's it's all by casing. So yeah. Next is the main board. Get the main board. Battery, main board, okay. Then you get the motherboard, the main board here. Put it right in. Then we can put the SD card in as well. Just make sure all the components are in the right holes. They're, 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 they're des designated holes already for you to know. So if you get that right, it should be okay. Let's put in the SD card. Let's pop it right in. And now we have 8 gigabytes of RAM. 8 gigabytes of RAM. 8 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> just clicks right in. Right? Line the holes and the pegs together. Just snap it right in. Now you have the main board. Okay, what's next? The keypad. Very important. Keypad. That's where we play our game. So get the front cover and get the back. Just snap it right in first. All these gold circles on the keypad. And you put in the rubber buttons right on top. Smart design. They make sure there's one that's not exactly the same, like these two are the same, but this one is a little a little thinner. Just so that you know how to line it up. Boom, we're done. There it is. Now we can finally put the actual buttons on them. So you just put that, pop that right in for the D-pad. Put that in, now we put the buttons. So you can put it in any order you want. You got A, B, X, Y. You could do the Nintendo DS way or just the standard Xbox way. There we go, we got our keypad ready. Ready to play some games. All right, got two more components, let's go. Battery component, boop. Battery container. All right, so once you get the panel in, that's when you put in your battery. So just slide it right in. Yeah, be careful not to get electrocuted. I just said that, now I'm, I'm quite scared. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. All right. <laughs> now that wasn't too hard, huh? Now we got batteries. Okay, we got all four components. Last thing we need is... Speaker. That's what these things are. So, you get this, get that. Line this at the bottom. Oh, okay. So we're supposed to take these things out. Ooh. Some heavy duty stuff right here. It's in like a little jello case. You just gotta take that out. Mm, yes. One. Oh. Oh. Okay. Haha. <laughs> That's how you put a speaker on. Okay, yep. Just making sure it's secure. Secure, right? Eh? always be more secure there we go we got our speaker so that's it we got all five components time to put it all together all right this is your if this is your first time doing these kind of uh, circuit boarding kind of like my first time uh, just give it some time have some patience we'll get through it So with a little know-how, a little bit of elbow grease, this is what you'll get. Everything will just come together. Everything will combine right there and then. Okay, take this. This is how you connect the keypad to the main board. Ah, okay. This one's pretty easy to do, just do that. then everything will lock into place okay next we just put it in the casing all right let's use the standard casing let's put everything together how are we gonna cut this Ta -da! <laughs> once you have everything situated all tucked in right there and then every component Time to put on the final piece. 
How many of us can say we've built a game console? You know, you can say you bought it at a store or you bought it off a friend, but how many of us can say that we actually built one? Not, not many of us, that's for sure. I think, I think we did it. I think, I think we just made a game shell. Uh, it feels nice. Took us a few hours, but here we are. Let's try turning it on. It works. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Alright, so uh, tune in next time where we actually get to play this thing once we load it up with some games. But there you go. That's how you make a game shell. I'm Dale. Thanks for tuning in to Game Hubs.